大家好，歡迎大家繼續收睇我哋今日嘅嘉賓訪談嘅，我係 Michelle 朱文書。嗱咁呢一節嘅訪問咧，咁大家咧一定要留意啦。我哋今日咧請咗兩位嘅律師上嚟咧接受我哋嘅訪問嘅。咁佢哋咧今日咧分別咧最主要同我哋講下咧就呢個婚姻住所呢一個嘅問題啊。咁首先咧介紹兩位出場啦，一位咧就係阿歐律師，你好，係阿 Scott 歐。咁另外一位咧就係 Option Con。係 ，nice to meet you。呀，咁啊，首先咧，歐律師，你同我哋介紹下，咁其實你最主要係做邊方面嘅法律嘅服務咧？好啊，我咧就注重咧就係多數都係地產啦，啊，跟住就生意啦，即係 corporation 啦。第三咧，我咧就係誒係做呢個 family law 家庭法律。而我 partner 咧，我個合夥人咧就係做啊，多數都係做家庭法律啦，然後跟住 real estate 啦 ，and then 第三就係 corporate。哇！咁其實都好多方面都 cover 咗嘅喎。咁嗱，咁今日咧，我哋最主要講嘅題目咧，就講呢一個婚姻住所，就係呢個 matrimonial home 啦。咁有好多人都唔係好明啊。其實咩叫做 matrimonial home？ 咩叫做婚姻住所咧？好啊，好啊。咁喺家庭法律咧，即係 Family Law Act 嗰度啦，安大省啦，就有一個法例咧，就係特登俾呢個叫做婚姻住所嘅。就算如果你個名唔喺個契嗰度，喺個法律上啦，你係有一個保護性啦，就係五十個 percent。間屋個利益個 interest 就係屬於你嘅。如果係只係係俾結婚呢個情況之下，咁如果有同居嘅朋友，即係有冇呢一個嘅保護呢 c o m m o n law unfortunately 咧喺安大利省啦，喺現在嗰個法律個寫法就係未有呢個保護，呢、這個自動性嘅保護去一半去俾呢個夫婦咁樣一個家庭咁樣一個，因為老公定老婆。當然咧，第啲省好似例如 B.C. 咁樣啦，就有依個保護啦，受依個保護。但係啊，係 common law 呢度喺安大省咧，仲未受依個保護。哦、oh.。Okay? 但係唔表示咧，即係話佢唔會可以攞到依個一半，但係只係咧，你要係去過依個法庭依個步驟，先至可以係擁有到依、這個依、這個依、這個權。哦，我明白啦，即係話呢一個婚姻住所咧，就理論上咧應該大家一人一半嘅。咁其實可唔可以係攞到超過一半啊 ？So, uh, lawyer corner, so I want to, uh, I want to know, so can the wife claim more than half of the matrimonial home? Traditionally speaking,、um, couples are only entitled to 50% of the matrimonial home,、mm -hmm. but the wife does have the ability to make a case for more than half of the matrimonial home、mm -hmm. if she asks for an unequal division of the assets. By stating that the marriage was for short term, or she's、uh, provided much more、mm -hmm. to the relationship than the husband has,、mm -hmm. so she does have the ability to make that、mm -hmm. request, and、mm -hmm. it's very important that the viewers understand that. 嗯，咁其實佢都即係頭先啊啊 option 嗰啲意思，即係話都有機會可以攞到多過一半或者少過一半嘅，即係個情況都幾複雜下喎嚇。哇，唔係好簡單咧，即係解釋咧就話嗰個，如果話嗰個太太咧係擺超過五十 percent， 例如。嗰個佢嗰個金融嘅嗰個錢落去，即係貢獻呢個間間屋咁樣。第二咧就係個婚姻咧係少過嚟一個短嘅時間，少過五年嘅時間。咁或者佢可以向法庭嗰度解釋俾法官聽啦，就話因為嗰個間屋係大部分都係我俾嘅，同埋嗰個婚姻咧係好短嘅時間，我想係要求多過五十個 percent。啊、我好明啦，其實即係一個 case， 即係舉例，我自己明唔明咧？即係意思即係，譬如好似一個、呃、如果一位有錢嘅女士，咁啊同一位冇錢嘅男士結婚，咁如果個男士想 claim 多過、呃、一半咧，咁呢個女士可以話，其實成間屋我最主要都係我俾錢。係咪咁嘅意思啊？係。哦、oh, ，OK， 都有可能，如果婚姻嘅時間短咧，可能個太太可以攞翻多嘅一半。係、oh, 啦。咁、exactly. 我想問下啦，有好多嘅朋友咧就話，如果呢一個婚姻住所啊，可唔可以有多過一間嘅咧？阿律師。可以嘅。誒、um, ，有好多家庭咧都會擁有誒，例、uh, 如好似嗰個 main principal residence 啊，個婚姻住所。再加上如果係夏天嗰陣咧，會係住喺一間 co 啊一個 cottage 嗰度，即係一個不便啲嘅地方。度假屋啦。係啦，度假屋。咁喺嗰個咧就或者可以係向法庭嗰度咧，即係呢個唔係 guarantee 啊，唔係自動啦，但係可以係申請喺法庭嗰度啦，話依間屋咧，即係話唔係話成年啦，但係起碼幾個月咧都會喺家庭嗰度喺度住，因為喺度住住咗係喺嗰個 duration of 嗰個 relationship 嗰陣，所以應該係可以係 designate 埋嗰個 cottage 叫做係婚姻住所。咁我可唔可以同時誒，即係話指定兩間都係咧？可以，即係話嗰個 main principle 啦，就係嗰間一第一間啦，再個 cottage 第二間啦，兩間啦，都係叫做婚姻住所。哦，咁有冇一個時間嘅限定？即係譬如我每年至少要喺呢一個度假屋嗰度住幾多日咁
唔需要有一個時間有限，但係兩方面咧都可以贊成話嗰個家庭喺嗰度住。哦，係咁就得噶。係、嗯、啦，咁啊，另外我亦都想知道咧，即有好多人都話、啊、如果我依間屋賣出去啊，係咪一定要做兩夫婦簽名 ？So I want to ask an option, right? So,、um, can someone sell the house without the spouse consent? They're not able to sell or even list the house without the spouse's consent because it's automatically considered a matrimonial home.、Mm -hmm. As a result of both parties being in a relationship, in a matrimonial relationship,、mm -hmm. and therefore the other party must get the consent of the spouse before listing it or attempting to sell it. 嗯，咁其實呢一個都比較 fair 啲啊，因為有啲太太，譬如家庭主婦喺屋企冇做嘢噶嘛。咁如果婚姻唔好嘅時候，個先生即係唔經過佢同意賣間屋，其實咧係誒受呢個法律嘅保護係唔可以嘅。係啦，咩意思啊？但係一樣嘢要小心 ，Michelle， 哈哈就係有好多時咧，或者個因為個太太個名唔喺個契嗰度啦。咁、嗯、而嗰個買屋經紀嗰陣咧，都或者冇通知到佢依個係屬於係家庭嘅個婚姻住所，尤其是個家庭有幾間屋。係、嗯、啊。咁、嗯、有好多時咧，有一個危險性，即係風險啦、嗯。就話嗰個老公咧就未冇個老婆同意啦，係經過個買屋經紀或者講啲假嘅説話咁樣係。只有只有間屋就係可以賣得出去。嗯，咁有啲咩方法可以係避免呢一啲嘅情形出現咧？係啦，咁、嗯、依個第二個依、這個問題咧，就就即係係關於係地產法律嘅，其實唔係家家庭法律嘅。咁、嗯、我哋喺個律師樓嗰度咧，有啲律師咧，我哋可以係介紹話俾個客聽喎、嗯，就係、是、你如果係申請依個叫做 designation matrimonial home 喺個契嗰度，喺個 title 嗰陣。咁所有人啦，係做一個 title search 啦、okay? oh. ，都會認識到依間屋啦，就唔可以鬥嘅。依、mm. 間屋咧係叫做係婚姻住所啦，就要經過嗰個太太定老婆嗰個同意先至可以係進展去嗰個 closing。嗯，啊，其其實呢一個嘅提議真係幾好嘅喎因為即係變咗係保障到任何一方咧都可以唔會話因為、呃、婚姻有啲咩問題出現啊，咁好多時即係啲太太啊可能俾、呃、有時可能啲先生啊變心啊咁啊即係拋棄啊咁啊都唔可以話隨便咧去買呢啲屋嘅。咁我想知道其實有時我哋會聽到會 sign 一啲 marriage contract， 其實呢一啲啊有啲咩作用嘅 ？OK， 咁 marriage contract 咧意思即係話啦，係未結婚之前啦，有一個人啦。一個 relationship 或或者一個男或者一個女，係、嗯、帶嚟一個啊資產，一個大嘅資產或者一間屋或者好多錢、嗯、去依個婚姻，嗯、而佢想認識咧，佢係未結婚之前啦，依筆錢啦會係屬於佢嘅。就算如果係話啊啊分分居咗之後，定或者離婚之後咧，依家依個依依筆資產咧係要先減開咗、嗯，先至再去向家庭嗰度分嘅。例如好似啲明星咁樣啦，好多錢嗰啲人啦，佢想係認識依筆資金定或者資產啦，係唔可以係分嘅。但係我聽有啲人話，就算你簽咗呢個 marriage contract 咧，到時都有可能推翻嘅，係咪係咪咧？咁、okay. 所以咧就依個好簡單解釋啦。OK， 喺嗰個法律，喺、嗯、嗰個 Family Law Act 嗰度咧就話，如果個一間屋啊係你喺度住過啦，嗰、嗯、間屋咧就一半一半嘅，係每人一半嘅。咁就算你係簽一個合約啦、嗯，你都唔可以話。去 contract outside the law， 意思即係如果有一個法例你要係跟進嘅、嗯。所以咧，就算如果你係擺一啲資產落去婚姻住所度啊，就算係簽咗合約寫住話你啲資產係 separate 嘅、嗯。因為你做咗依、這個依、這個動作啊，投資咗啲錢落去喺一個婚姻住所度啊，嗰、嗯、啲錢都係分開一人一半，咁、嗯、會解釋。啊，是，咁總言之，我覺得咧都係要誒、呃、要問啲專業人士啦嚇 ，details 啲嘢啦。咁啊，我想問下，其實喺你哋咁多年嘅經驗入邊啊，有冇一啲嘅 case 可以同我哋分享啊？不如問下啊 option 啊。So is there any interesting case you can share with us today? I think specifically with separation,、um, I, I had a case a few years ago in which、uh, the wife realized that she had 50% of the home、yeah. and entitlement. And she assumed that's all her obligations towards the home there were.、Mm -hmm. What you have to always remember is you must maintain that 50% of the home、mm -hmm. when you、uh, when separation occurs by contributing towards the expenses of the home.、Mm -hmm. And specifically, if you're living within the home, you have an obligation to、uh, contribute to the maximum of your potential, meaning your economic ability.、Mm -hmm. So if A lot of the viewers might be housewives, or they might be working as well. If they're a housewife, they'll have the question. How am I able to support 
uh, contribution towards the home when I make no money, my husband makes all the money. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as they're cooking, cleaning, they're taking care of the home, they're doing their contribution as much as they have the ability to. Mm -hmm. If the husband decides to leave the home, mm -hmm. he has to pay them spousal support. Mm -hmm. They have now a financial platform upon which they can contribute. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they can't contribute 50%. Yeah. We're not saying they need to contribute 50% mm. as much as they can. The varying degrees that they have the ability to contribute. So you are talking about is after separation? Only okay. after separation okay. is there an obligation to contribute mm. towards the home to maintain your 50% interest. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. okay. Mm. okay. Mm. Mm. okay. case. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, we went to the court and we told the judge that we should have 50% of the law. It's very simple, it's like the law is written in the law. The husband said, no, you don't have to leave it. And you are leaving, you are out of the way. Why do I have to leave it? I have to pay for the mortgage, I have to pay for the debt, I have to pay for some money. Why do you have to have 50%? The judge is the same as the law. He said, 我個老婆咧一啲一個仙都冇擺落去，咁、嗯、你應該唔可以 entitled to 五十個 percent。咁、嗯、如果係譬如佢哋係未離婚之前咧，需唔需要有呢一個嘅 contribution 呢個提提？未離婚之前嘅法官解釋咧，就係因為你係一個家庭一個婚姻嗰度咧，啲、嗯、錢唔係邊個係佢你定法律屬我，都可以話 What's yours is mine, What's mine is mine 咁先個老婆會咁講添。嗯、但係即係冇依個即係、就是、separation 話依個係老婆嘅資金，依、嗯、個就係老公嘅資金，所有啲資金喺家庭嗰度全部加埋一齊。但係一 separate 咗之後咧，就重要點啦，就係、是嗯、actually 你嗰個户口或者會係你個户口、佢個户口咁樣咁樣，所以要即係、哦就是、重要點就係要注重啦，就係、是、要小心依樣嘢。咁今日咧好多謝咧兩位律師上嚟咧接受我哋嘅訪問如果大家有啲咩問題咧，亦都喺我哋熒光幕咧見到佢哋嘅聯絡嘅地址同埋電話，亦都可以直接咧揾佢哋聯絡嘅。咁今日咧再次多謝兩位，唔該曬。Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.